Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have another math problem on the board. How do we solve this challenge here? The question is bracket epping x plus 49 close bracket to the power of 1 all over 3 minus bracket open x minus 49 close bracket all to the power of 1 all over 3 equal to 2. What there will be the possible value of x that to satisfy this challenge? If you are new here, this is online math TV where we release math solution all the time. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video like the one you're about to watch right now. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So here we take selection. Selection. All right. When I saw this question at first, I tried to do some manipulation, but it didn't work out. If you look at what we have inside this bracket, and what we have here, this is a conjugate of this. So I tried to multiply this by this, if I can get something um, similar to this from here. But I didn't get the solution through that method. So what we do here now is to make some substitution here now. Okay, from here I'm going to use a quantity to represent this, another quantity to represent this. So from here we cannot say let, uh, let's use u this time, let u be um, our x plus 49 r to the power of 1 all over 3 and another alphabet v to represent this, okay, r to the power of this. So if we have this, this is our original equation, so we can rewrite the original equation, right? So this now implies that our um, this will now give us u, okay, minus v is equal to r2. All right, this is a special expression we'll be making use of. Okay, so let's give this equation one. So if we have this as our equation one, then we can rewrite this by removing this radical. So if I take the cube of both sides, it will eliminate this. So rewriting this equation here, so we have here our u to the power of 3 is equal to your x plus your 49, okay, r to the power of 1 all over 3, r to the power of your 3. So this, this will leave. So when I have this to be u to the power of 3 is equal to x plus 49. Now let's give this equation star. Okay, so what do we do? We do same thing to this guy here. So we have our v to the power of 3 is equal to bracket x minus 49, the close bracket 1 all over 3. Oops, taking the cube of both sides rather. Okay, so if you take the cube here, this and um, this will leave. So we have here v to the power of 3 is equal to x minus 49. We have this. So let's take this as equation star, star, star. So with this cube, what we do, we now have equation star and equation star, star. So we want to add equation star and equation star, star. If we add these two equations, what happens? We are going to have three unknown in the system. So what we do here, we want to subtract equation star and equation star, star. If we do that, this star will leave the, sorry, the x will leave the system. So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us here. So from here, we have here our u to the power of 3 equal to your x plus 49. Then we have our v to the power of 3 is equal to x minus 49. Okay? So like I said, we are subtracting. So if we subtract this, this will leave the system. Then here we have our u to the power of 3 minus v to the power of 3. This is equal to... This will add up because this times this will give us plus. So if we add up, we're going to have here 8, um, 98 here. Okay, so this is another equation we're going to make use of. So let's label this equation 2. Now from equation 2, all we need to do is to um, think of our algebraic identity that has to do with difference of two cubes. Okay, so if we apply the difference of two cubes, which says that if you have your a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to bracket up in a minus b close bracket bracket your a squared minus, or uh, sorry, plus your a b the plus b squared. Okay, so if we apply this, okay, let's read this out. So if we apply this, 
what we have here is similar to this. So we can rewrite the um, uh, left hand side of the equation to give us here, or uh, can say this now implies that our u minus v plus bracket the bracket here we have our u squared the plus your u v plus our v squared plus bracket everything equal to ninety eight. Easy. Now, if you look at this, we can bring this and this together. So this will now give us here our u minus v close bracket bracket u squared plus v squared plus u v close bracket equal to 98. So from our algebraic identity, let's rewrite this expression we have here now. So we know from our algebraic identity that if we have your a here plus your b r to the power of 2, this will give us our a squared there plus our 2ab there plus b squared, right? So if we add this and this, then make, send this to this side. To make this and this the subject of the formula we're going to have here, your a plus b r to the power of 2 minus 2ab equal to a squared plus b squared. So the sum of 2 squared from our algebraic identity will give us this. So we can still have another identity from sum of two square. So again, what if we have a minus b r to the power of two? This is equal to our a squared then minus two a b then plus b squared. Bring this and this together and send this to this side. This will give us here bracket a minus b r squared then plus two a b rather. So we have two a b equal to a squared plus b squared so this is sum of two square again giving us this and meanwhile we have this from this other side sum of two square giving all this sum of two square giving all this they are different right why am i doing all this thing because in my previous video um one of the viewers uh subscriber asked a question why is this equal to this and this same equal to this if you open up this, if you use this to multiply itself, you're going to come up with this. But if you make this the subject of the formula from here, you come up with this. Same thing, you do that too, it will give you this. But which of them are we going to take from this, um, uh, for this uh, math challenge? Here, yeah, we have an expression established already. But here, we don't have expression for this. So we're going to pick this. So we, are, we can rewrite u square plus v square in this format here, in this format. So let's go ahead and rewrite this expression based on this, not this. Okay, so this now implies that bracket u minus v, we keep this guy because we don't have a problem with this, the bracket, but let's use a square bracket this time. So we have u minus v r squared, okay, the plus our 2 u v plus what we have here already okay so we have u v close bracket uh, sorry let's use square bracket equal to 98 okay so we can add this together here so this will now give us u minus v close bracket into our square bracket u minus v close bracket the plus our 3 u v are equal to 98 like I said before now, sorry, here is square. So we have this established already, which is this, which is same thing as this. So let's go ahead and substitute two into this. So this will now give us here two, okay, into, let's put this in bracket also. Then we have here two squared there. We have here plus our three u, v, okay. Then our written is square bracket. Okay, equal to 98. Here we give us 4. So we have, we can now use this two to open up every tier. So automatically, here we have 4. 2 times 4 will give us 8. So we have 8 there plus 2 times 3 will give us 6 U V equal to 98. Send this to this side. So we now have 6 U V equal to 98 minus 8, which is equals to 90.
So let's make UV the subject of the formula. Again, let's continue on this side of our bird. So from here, we're going to have this to be our UV is equal to our 90 all over uh, 6. This will give us 15. So therefore, we have UV equal to 15. So from here, um, no. let's make V the subject of the formula. So we now have V is equal to 15 all over our U. Why are we making V the subject of the formula? Because we've already established um, the relationship V minus U, sorry, U minus V equal to 2 already, okay? So from here, we cannot say, recall, recall that we have our U minus V is equal to 2. So let's go ahead and put this value into this place. So when I have this to u minus your 15 all over u equal to 2. So if you multiply out, we have u squared minus 15 equal to 2u. So we now have u squared the minus 2u minus 15 equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this quadratically. All we need to do is to find the factors of 15. Okay. So we have plus one minus plus minus one, then plus minus three, plus minus five, and plus minus 15 in cell. So among all the factors of 15, which of them will satisfy this equation quadratically, we're going to have um, this to be uh, plus three minus five. So plus 3 minus 5. So we can rewrite this as our u squared, the plus 3u, the minus 5u, the uh, minus 15 equal to 0. So we can put this in bracket, put this in bracket, bracket this, bracket this. So let's factor out what is common here is just u, and what is common here is um, 5. Again, let's continue on this side. So we have u. Into this, we are left with u. The plugs are three. Then what is common here is just five. So we have five into here we are left with u. Then we use this minus to times this minus to give us here plugs. Here we have three, everything equal to zero. So so long these are these are the same. So we now have this to be u plugs are three. Then we have u minus five to zero. Equate this to zero, equate this to zero, so we have u plus three equal to zero, or u minus five equal to zero. So u is equal to minus three, or r uh, five. Okay, so we have the value for our u. Yeah, we have to look for our v. So v, we made v the subject of the formula, so here we have u1 and u2. So for our V1, V1 will now be equal to 15 all over, what is our U1? Minus 3, so we have here minus 3, and if we do this, this will give us minus 5. So we have our V2 will now be equal to, again, 15 all over, U2 is 5, so we have here all over 5, so this will give us 3. All right, so with this, we recall we said something that if uh, we say let let we say so recall let uh, we said u equal to our x plus forty nine okay r to the power of one all over three right and our v equal to your x minus forty nine r to the power of one all over three so we can easily get our x from here now okay so for our u one. Uh, let's take our equation. So u1 is equal to minus 3. So we can substitute here. We now have here when x is equal to minus 3. Sorry, when u is equal to minus 3, we now have this to be minus 3 equal to, then we have x rather, so we have x here plus 49 r to the power of 1 all over 3. So if we cube both sides of the equation, let's continue on this side and see what this gives us. Okay, so we have minus 27 equal to, why well, this will give us x uh, plus 49. Okay, so our x cos will give us minus 27, then minus 49. 
So x will now be equal to this, this will give us um, minus 76. So we have our x1 from this. All right. So when I look for our u2, b5, so again, let's use this same equation. So for u2, b5, we have our u again is equal to a bracket x plus 49 all to the power of 1 all over 3. So we put in 5 here, take it to the power of 3. This is equal to our x plus 49 all to the power of 1 all over 3. Every tier we cube both sides again. So this, this leaves. 5 to the power of 3 will give us 125 is equals to x plus 49. So send this to this side. So this gives us x is equals to 125 minus 49, right? So if we subtract, we're going to have our x is equal to um, this from this 15. So here we have 6. Here we have 11. So for from 11, we give us 7. Okay. All right. So we have 76. All right. So this is our x2. Now, if you do this same substitution for your v1 minus 5 and v2, 3, and you put that into this expression here, you're still going to come out with your x1 being uh, 76, x2 being minus 76. All right. So this might be end to this nice algebraic expression, nice algebraic math problem. Thanks for being there. Just leave a comment in the comment section, wherever or where you are not clear. Okay? We are there to reply to your comments. All right? This is Online Math TV, and we love you dearly. Thanks for being there all the time. Bye for now.